Yo, what's good, you too? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to season five here in the White Tails Dynasty as we start off this season. Number 53, our highest preseason ranking that we've had so far, and we are finally up to the 70s in overall, <laughs> pretty much exactly 70 overall, and Marquette, who also gets moved up into the Big Ten with us. They start out seven spots below us, but the predictions say that we're both going to finish at each side, at the bottom of each side of the conference, but we do have some good news. We have a couple of preseason All-Americans, starting with Marvin Woods, who will definitely lead the way for us. Nathan Beaver, who was a surprise All-American last year, and then our All-American safety, Ryan Robinson. But look at this, preseason second team, Xavier Storm. He got disrespected last year, to be honest. He should have been an All-American as well to finish last season. Almost 100 catch, 1,000, 1,200 yard season. So now we have a different quarterback at QB1. I don't know who it's going to be, but we'll see as you will go into this episode. Brian Simmons and Justin DiRoberto are both prime candidates and ready to play. At receiver, Francis Smith will play a big role. He's a big body guy, 6'5", and he's got decent speed. And then let's check out Maurice Highlights Jackson, who I decided not to redshirt because he will play meaningful time in the slot, along with Jacoby Beck, who will move over back over to receiver after playing a season or two at running back. He's back at receiver, never had a big year, but he's always had the athleticism to go along with his just overall talent. So, Chris Coretta is gonna play a big role in this offense once again. His freshman season, he went 1,100 yards and five touchdowns. We're gonna need that same production from him come this season. Our biggest recruit of all time is here. Jonathan Simmons is the freshman on campus who's going to start right away. He's 78 overall. He was our highest rated guy before training. He's gonna wreak havoc on that D-line. Along with Blake Childress, he will finally step in in the place of Tucker Aconco full time. And then in the defensive backfield, we have two new freshman red shirt cornerbacks in Dorsey and Coco Bomaye. Both of them will play meaningful time and we'll see who shows up the most. So let's get season five underway on the road versus Kentucky. And Xavier Storm is back to receive this kick. And here he is picking up a couple of blocks, breaking a tackle and getting it to about the 17 yard line. And out comes Justin D. Roberto, his first game of action here for the Whitetails. We're gonna start out with a jet sweep to the right side. That's gonna be Xavier Storm who gets stopped in the backfield. That is a loss of three yards. So I did decide to go with Justin D. Roberto because he has better accuracy. Here he is, his first throw out to the right side. That one is inaccurate, out of bounds. And that brings it to a third and 13. DiRoberto throws out to the right side. There's the accuracy. Chris Coretta, welcome back to the starting lineup and getting meaningful playing time. That's a gain of 14. So here he is getting another quick pass out to the right side. That is a gain of five from Coretta. So now we get it to a third and five. This time DiRoberto throws out to the left side. That's Jacoby Beck who takes a huge hit and can't hold on to it. And we will have to punt this ball away to Kentucky. Now, Kentucky is a pretty young and up and coming team, to be honest. They did lose their opener to Georgia, but only by a few scores. It actually was a closer game than the score indicated. But their quarterback, Ryan Allen, who is a junior, had a terrible game. He was off the whole day, but I think their defense kept him in the game for most of the time. And then in the fourth quarter, Georgia started to pull away. But they do have a superstar at middle linebacker, Norris Hicks. He's 92 overall. He's a junior, so he's probably going to be returning next season as well. So they will have an anchor in the middle of their defense. So here is Allen to start out this game. Throw out to the right side. He's got Ryan Sanders, and that's a gain of seven getting pushed out of bounds. So here is Allen on the speed option to the right, pitching out to Norris. Bruh. Morris, the running back. And look at that block downfield. And Morris is going to be gone. That's a touchdown. And Kentucky can run the ball well because Allen is a dual threat quarterback. And that time he took on two big hits from Shaq Royal and also Victor Dimitri. 
So 7-0 here to start Kentucky out at home. Here is Jabari Blaze getting a handoff, and he gets hit hard by Norris at linebacker, and that is only a gain of two. So now we get into a third and eight. This time, DiRoberto trying to buy some time and throw on the run. That's Jacoby Beck, but it gets stopped. And look who it is. It's Norris, and that's a gain of six and two punts early on for this White Tails offense. So here comes Allen back out onto the field from the shotgun. I'm going to throw it to the right side. He had all day to throw that one. That's Andrew Hayes on the sideline, and that is a catch and a first down. So after that 23-yard gain here, first and 10, Allen can run a little bit. He's got good speed. He picks up about 17 yards on that scramble and a first down. So inside the 30-yard line, Morris up the middle this time, getting a hole, and that's a nice gain of eight as Justin Jamison could not corral him in the hole that time. Big Bobby Mathis in the game. This time the handoff to Horn. They're back up running back. He gets inside the five, tackled by Nathan Beaver. Gain of 16. Now they're inside the five-yard line. So on a first and goal, Morris, another handoff. Touchdown, his second of the day. And Kentucky has took a commanding 14-0 lead to start out this game. Our offense might have to play a little catch-up. So here's Justin DiRoberto on the first pass of the next drive. Throw it out to the right, and that's Francis Smith, who ran a good route on that one. The cornerback kind of got lost, and the ball was right there. He wasn't looking for the ball. He's looking at Francis Smith, and that's a first down, his first catch of the year. So here's Roberto scrambling out to the left side. He gets rid of it to Jabari Blaze over the middle. That's a gain of eight, and a first down as he moved past the 50-yard line. So handoff this time, Blaze breaks the tackle but can't get loose. And that's only a gain of two. We can already see this Kentucky defense up front. They're pretty stout. So here is Blaze getting another handoff to the left side. That's a gain of five. As now we get it to a third and three. We come out here with five wide receivers out there. Price Greer in the slot. We're gonna throw it to him and that is the red shirt freshman. Price Greer, watch out for him. He is an athletic tight end. He will sit behind Coretta this year but don't be surprised if you see a lot of two tight end sets. So here's a throw across the middle of the field. That's Xavier Storm, his first catch of the year for four yards. So that brings it to a third and six. Di Roberto scrambling out to the right side. He gets hit. He gets rid of it to Xavier Storm, and that's a gain of five. We needed six. And we're going to line up to go for it. Be aggressive here on the road. Fourth and one. Handoff. Jabari, he's got a hole up the middle. That's a gain of eight and a first down. So now un inside of 10 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's DiRoberto, throw to the right side. That's Maurice, highlights Jackson, touchdown, four yards out. And DiRoberto looks good throwing the ball. We did have two punts early, but that's 10 of 16 to start the game. And a touchdown, we bring this within seven. So here is Morris getting the handoff, and that's gonna be a stop in the backfield by the senior Patrick McGee. And that brings it to a second and 11. This time the pressure is getting right there. Gotcha, Allen bitch. breaks away from the sack, but does meet Shaq Royal, who's there. And wow, that was lucky. Patrick McGee almost had a sack on that one. So now third and 12. Let's come up with a stop defense. Here's a throw across the middle. That's incomplete. As the pocket was collapsing, I think Ryan Allen was seeing ghosts on that one. And they punt the ball away to Ryan Chang, the true freshman. We have a new punt returner. He gets a gain of 10. Want to check him out as he's going to have to play a big role in giving us good field position. So here is DiRoberto back out onto the field after that nice drive last time out. And he picks up a gain of 13, throwing to Maurice Jackson, who looks to be in pretty good shape here. He doesn't have elite speed, but he's getting open early. We follow that up by a gain of 11 that time. Chris Coretta, the senior tight end. So Di Roberto throw out to the left side. That's Xavier Storm getting down the sideline and using that speed, getting inside the five. He's got great speed. He's going to have to play a huge role. He has the number one corner on him each game, and that's a first down. So we bring in Brian Simmons on the quarterback draw. That's a touchdown. We spread him out wide, and Brian Simmons, the mobile quarterback out of the two, comes in and ties this game up at 14 apiece. So here comes Kentucky back out onto the field, and look at that, Blake Childress with the tackle in the backfield. So third and five, running another speed option. This time it's not gonna work. That's Blake Childress, back-to-back -back plays. And here we go. Our offense comes out onto the field with a chance to take the lead. So now three minutes left here in the first half. Here is Adam Murphy getting going. He is the power back in this backfield. 
and he gets in. They're not expecting that. That's a gain of 12. So second and four this time. DiRoberto throws out to left side. That's a perfect throw. Xavier Storm keeping both feet in bounds. Only needed one, but that's a gain of 17. So now here we come out onto the field first and 10. Maurice Jackson in the slot. We're going to give it to him. That's a nine-yard gain, but he is going to be shaken up on that one. And he's going to have to come out the game and get looked at by team doctors. So handoff on a third and one. This time Adam Murphy can't fight forward. And he gets tackled in the backfield. Norris Hicks already has nine tackles here in the first half. So we do line up to go for it. That's a nice throw that time. Chris Coretta as Justin DiRoberto stood in the pocket and took a big hit. Coretta looks good in his first half. So DiRoberto on a first and 10. This time Bam Cameron in the game fighting off a tackler and gets tackled from behind. That's 11 yards as everybody is touching the ball so far in this first half. So 30 seconds left here. DiRoberto throw out to the right side. That's Storm who gets open and cannot get inside the pylon, but a gain of 15. He's at about the inch yard line on that catch. So now we're still at the one yard line. Second and goal, handoff. Adam Murphy tries to fight in and he gets stuffed that time. And that brings us to a third and goal. We heard up to the line here. Six seconds left, throw out to the left side. That's gonna be incomplete as now we have a decision to make. We have one timeout. We line up to see what the defense comes out in and I don't like it. So we are gonna call a timeout and come out and kick the field goal, take the points as we go into halftime with the 17 to 14 lead. Our offense did start out a little shaky. It's expected with a new offense and a new quarterback. Here we go, second half. So here we come out in the second half on defense. Can we stop Allen? He hasn't been able to throw the ball well, but here's a throw out to the right side. Morris, and he actually loses ground on that one. That's a loss of four yards. So second gotcha, and 14, bitch. run the screen pass out to the left side. Allen gets swallowed up. That's everybody there to get him. Nathan Beaver gets there first. Blake Childress was also there as well. So third and 23 this time. Throw out to the right side and another screen pass. And that's Brad Robinson with the tackle behind the line. And we get them to punt the ball away. So here we go with the 17 to 14 lead. DiRoberto isn't as mobile, but he scrambles out to the right side. Finds Chris Coretta, who's been open quite a bit in this one. That's a gain of about 19 yards. So now at about the 30 yard line. Here he is getting open again, nine yards on the sideline. You forget how athletic he is. He really could have played receiver for us last year, but we do need him at tight end, and it shows here in his senior season. So here is Blaze getting a hand up up the middle. He's going to lose yards on that one as we eventually get it to a third and five now. DiRoberto scrambles out to the right, and he cannot get a loose on that one. He takes a huge hit on that one. Norris, wow, he's got about 12 tackles in this one as we settle for three points. So here is Ryan Allen. He has not been able to throw the ball well. The running game has definitely helped him. And you can see the inaccuracy on that throw. So here's a tip at the line, and that's almost going to be picked off by Blake Childress. Take a look. That's a nice tip that time by Justin Jamison, the senior, as Blake Childress almost had a free gift. So third and 10 this time. They try to run the screen pass out to the left side. Morris on the screen. He gets a couple of blocks and fights forward. And he stays patient and is going to get the first down. That's a gain of 13 on that one. And a first down for Morris. So here's another screen pass out to the right side. They love to run these screens and they lose three. And wow, I don't know what they're thinking on this one. Ryan Allen, maybe they're just trying to get his rhythm going. So third and 13, another screen. But this time, look at the blocking. Morris gets around the corner and is gonna pick up 16 yards, wow. We saw it coming the whole way, but the blocking was just great on that one. And Allen keeps his drive going. So here he is getting it out to his favorite target. This time their impact player, Andrew Hayes at receiver. And they get it to a third and four. This time Allen throws out to the left side. He's got a man, that's Dunn who gets tackled by Marquise Dorsey on the outside, who's in his first game starting, remember. That's a big first down. So now they get it inside the five yard line. Second and goal, trying to run the option. That's a tackle in the backfield. And that's Marvin Woods there for a tackle for about two, yard, two yards of loss. So now here's Allen on a third and goal. Throw out to the right side. He's got Jeremy Rankin who actually does not get inside the pylon. And look at this, they decide to be like us and kick the field goal at about the one yard line. 
And now we start the fourth quarter here with a three-point lead here as maybe they trust their defense to shut down our new offense. So now we get it out to about the 25-yard line on the third and five. Throw out to the middle of the field. That's Coretta who runs over a defender and fights forward to about the 40-yard line. Gain of 12 yards and a first down. We've been able to control this clock so far. Here's Jabari Blaze, a handoff. That's his biggest run of the game. They've been bottling us up. That's a gain of seven. So now second and three here, six minutes left here. We run the clock down, throw across the middle. It's Blaze, at least he's getting going in the passing game. That's another gain of 12 on that one and a first down. So this clock does continue to run here. Five and a half minutes left here in the game. Blaze, another big hole. That's his biggest run of the game. Eight yards on that one as we get it to about a second and two. So we bring in Adam Murphy here to get us some tough yards. Handoff to the right side. Murphy falls forward. Six yards on that one, a first down for the junior. So first and 10, this time DiRoberto on a play action does get swallowed up as that's a big sack because that puts us out just on our edge of our field goal range. So throw out to the right side. That time Xavier Storm is open on the outside. Remember, he's gonna get the number one corner each week. That's a gain of 13. So third and four this time. DiRoberto trying to buy some time but throws it out of bounds and keeps it in field goal range as we do line up for the field goal and make it a six point lead here as two and a half minutes are left here in the fourth quarter. We've been able to stop their passing attack. Can we stop it on this last drive? Here's a throw across the middle. That's Benjamin Hogan. Throw from Allen, that's a first down. So here is Allen this time. Throw out to the left side. He's got a man, Hayes, and he's got a first down again. And there we go. We gotta play this pass defense. We cannot collapse here in the fourth quarter. So under two minutes left here, Allen throws across the middle. He's got Jackson who goes up and gets it. It's tackled in the air by Brad Robinson. Only a gain of five. So now they get it to a third and four this time. Allen going to throw it to the right side. He's got a man, Cleveland, but he cannot drag a foot. And it's going to be a fourth and four. This is a big time play. It could decide the game. Allen, throw out to the left side. He's got Morris on the backfield, and that's a great tackle by Marquise Dorsey and Zane Alexander, who's out there first. And we get them to get up short of the first down. So here is Jabari Blaze, handoff up the middle on the first down. As we want to kind of milk this clock here, they call their first timeout. Handoff up the middle. Blaze fights forward for about a gain of seven. They're, they've burned their second timeout. So third and two, a first down wins it. Simmons, quarterback keeper, he's in. That's four yards, and that will be the game as we come in and kneel the clock out and we get the win here. And Justin DiRoberto's first stop on the road versus an SEC school. There we go. That's the momentum we need to start out this season. We have a tough schedule, and we get a great road win as our defense held up and pretty much stopped them through the air. Besides that one big run, I would say our defense played pretty well. We did not get any sacks. Well, we got a couple of sacks, but still, we didn't really get the pressure that we wanted, but it got the job done, and we knew this would be a slow start to the game with this new playbook, because remember, we have the new offensive coordinator who comes over with the Toledo playbook, so it's a lot different. As you can see, Coretta had a big game, eight receptions, 92 yards, Storm had 91 yards as well. Maurice highlights Jackson. Actually was taken out of the game after that second quarter injury, and he gets a touchdown, but he played pretty good from the slot in that limited amount of time. So Nathan Beaver leads the team in tackles. He had a sack. Shaq Royal had a sack as well. Uh, Blake Childers almost had a sack, but that's a good team win as we control the clock. Look at this. Double the amount of time of possession. Look at that, 21 minutes to 10 minutes. And next week, we are 1-0 going on the road at Washington. Number 20, the rematch of the bowl game lost last year. So this means a lot for the program as we look to get our revenge on the road. Kirk is going with Washington, so we're going to have to come with our best game. Hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I've been working hard for a minute The ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it The ones who speak the truth never get the recognition But the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention It don't matter though, yeah And it don't even matter though, nope